Hey there, guys. Welcome back to another ladder battle. We're going to have Hero versus Snow here on Dark Origin. The maps just reset, or the, the, the new maps just came into effect on the ladder. So I was uh, playing a whole bunch of that today. But we were kind of struggling with the ZVP, so I'm interested to see what Hero is going to bring out here. He went for the um, nine pool with a extractor trick to get an extra drone with the Overlord. That is interesting. Going for that ten play, I guess this is going to kind of look like a. Uh, 12 hatch timing, right? Coming out here. And he's actually going to build a bunch of links behind this. This kind of throws off the Protoss player. I actually like this. Because Snow does not know that there are six links being produced right now. Now, if he was sitting there building a Nexus first, he would be in a lot of trouble, but... There it is. Pylon. Lands here at the natural. He's just going to go around that pylon. I don't think that Snow can see this. Oh, he can. Okay. He can see that the lings are coming. He's going to come over here and block the third base as well. Very frustrating. Very annoying stuff. Cancels the natural. We're going to have the zealot here fighting with these lings. But that's a great surround there. And with the zealot getting that well surrounded, he does manage to slip out a little bit. But he will eventually get tracked down. Already has two kills. Shouldn't be able to get a third. There we go. He does finish that off. So first Zealot is dead. There is some vulnerability here. Some real vulnerability, but it seems like we're not building more Lings. No more Lings on the way here. We're just going to go across the map. Oh, he makes a trap for the Zealot. I love it. Very nicely done. Sorry, guys. I had to sneeze for a second. That's why I wasn't uh, focused on the right spot here. But the trap on, on the next Zealot popping out was brilliant play by Hero. It's too bad he wasn't uh, just sending more links across the map. He might have been able to, you know, snowball this. However, looks like we're going to have Zealot on ramp now. Very low HP Zealot. In fact, third is Zealot going to pop out here. It is the fourth Zealot in total, but only three remain. Overlord here spotting out everything. He's going to see the Forge getting thrown down here. A little bit funny, the placement of the Pylon. You don't usually see the Pylon right up against the wall in most builds. Usually you'll see the Pylon back a little bit. So there's space for Cannon here at the front, but... I'm not sure what that is. Maybe a tiny mistake from Snow? I'm not 100% on that. Unfortunately for Hero... One Zealot, one Probe going to sneak in here. He does need to produce quite a few more Lings. Hydra Den on the way as a follow-up. Well, this is not the kind of game I was looking for, but maybe we can still get a great game here. Hero. Going to be Hydra Busting. Trying to hide that, but I think these two Zealots are going to slip right into the main. And unfortunately, although Hero managed to really do a great job surrounding the early Zealot, the first Zealot, he's going to end up not taking uh, a great trade here, and he's going to get scouted in the main base as well. Bad trade there. Kind of a rough trade here as well. You want to overwhelm the Zealots a little bit more than what we saw just a moment ago. And he actually has speed here. Speed has been researched for these lings. Trying to get some more damage on these drones, but not going to get any kills. And the Hydra Den is complete with that speed Hydra upgrade on the way. Some drones are going to pop out here. Lings are going to run across the map, but there's no uh, damage to be found here right now. That cannon is just about to finish, and as it does, going to be able to hold there in the natural. Droning up now is Hero, but it's a rough position. He made quite a lot of lings because of that earlier Zealot pressure, and he's forgetting a drone out here. It's so funny. I actually did this today. 
I set all my rallies to here during the zealot attack because I wanted to make sure that I had lings, all the lings coming to one area where I could pick them up. And then I like set my rallies over here and kept drones rallying to my third. And I completely forgot about this. I thought it was an overlord or something on my minimap. And the drone just sat there for a long time. So totally understandable hero making a small mistake there. That drone should be over here working because we are very low on the saturation. We've got three, four here, and this is nine. So, you know, not even close to the 973. We're missing like uh, three, four drones in total. Plus, we need to get that one to the mineral patch. So, that's a little bit rough. This is going to be a very low econ hydra bust. And as you can see... Snow already well aware of that. Going to have lots of lings here to buffer. And the Hydras are actually getting pretty good surface area. This is a very nice bust from Hero. All the uh, probes are going to be pulled, but the uh, cannons are going to fall here. Hydras are still alive in pretty high number. You can maybe get this next cannon. No, got to be careful not to lose too many Hydras right now. We want to be able to save this Overlord. Corsair gets pushed away. And we should be able to pick this off now. Very nicely done here by Hero. The low econ Hydra Bust with the Zergling speed is going to work out. He even prevents the plus one upgrade from finishing. He's going to be able to snipe down that te that uh, one single Zealot as well. He should be able to get this cannon in addition. Probes are going to be drilled on top of this. The one cannon does finish. And it looks like he will hold on for now. But he's going to have to keep all of his probes right here. If he doesn't want to die in the next few seconds. More and more Hydra coming across the map. We've got one Corsair here. Looks like it will fall before getting any kills. Looks like this Corsair going to fly in. Try to finish the job. Four cannons are done. He targets down the low HP cannon. There's still four remaining. And two pylons back here too. But I don't know if this will be powered by this pylon right here. It's a little bit dangerous. We'll see if that gets unpowered once this dies. He should be going into full drone production once again. Yeah, full-on drones now coming. Although, you know what? There is no forge. There's the forge finishing now. If he had just kept building Hydra here, he could have killed. He actually could have killed Snow. Because the forge died and Snow wasn't ready for that. He only has four cannons here. If there was like a bunch, even if there was just Ling scumming. If he was just massing Ling across the map. Maybe 12 Ling running up in the front and then the uh, Hydra sniping down the cannon. This is enough Hydra to snipe those cannons. So missing a little bit of an opportunity there. Still this drone. Poor, poor forgotten drone. All alone. Finally sent back to his home here in the mineral line. And we should see a second gas now. Because Hero is finally teching up. There's the second gas. Hero going to get that lair going. He does need to get Overlord speed here pretty quick. Because a good follow up from Snow will be to go into uh, Dark Templar from here. When your opponent doesn't have uh, early lair. Dark Templar can be very, very powerful. Uh, looks like he's just going to go full on Zealot. I don't like this as much. We do have the Templar Archive on the way, but just a huge amount of gateways are out. He has so much gas. So much gas. He could build a ton of Templar and not really sweat it, but he's going to roll, roll out with some uh, Zealots around the left-hand side of the map, and I don't think that we're ready for this, actually. Okay, Hydras are going to come down to meet these Zealots over here on the left-hand side. And he will be prepared. These Zealots going to try to run by on the right-hand side. We don't have anything here to stop these Zealots from actually dealing some damage to this Mineral Line. So he's going to leave one Zealot there to deal that damage. And the rest are going to make a run for it. Two drones get picked off. Possibly a third as well. God, Zealots are so tanky. It's like six Hydra, seven Hydra shooting it for like... I don't even know how long. Enough time for him to hit at least four times. For the Zealot to hit a drone four times. That's pretty crazy. 
It's going to come in towards the natural here. We're going to have to see really big mass of Hydra coming out. There's the Overlord speed. So what I was going to say there is that one thing that when the uh, Zerg player doesn't have the early lair is they don't have early Overlord speed. So getting in with the Corsair and pushing back the Overlords and then coming in with the DT can be very, very strong. First move out here. We're going to leave the Templar at home. Snow has some supply lead, but not over insurmountable here. Hero has a lot of Hydra. He's going to be transitioning into Lurker very soon. Has plus one upgrade on the way as well. We're getting a plus one armor here. But the upgrades are going to be pretty, pretty even, I think. As long as Hero starts this next attack upgrade as soon as the first attack upgrade ends i think he should be feeling pretty good so it's waiting for a counter attack they're not going to find it not going to be able to get a counter attack going here checking the back stasis cell making sure that there's uh no shenanigans going on back there like a dt or something trying to get hopped over by a probe that could spell disaster, although he did, he did keep an overlord in the main, which is nice. Still doesn't have one over here at the third. And he's trying to take a fourth without defending it properly. A lot of his hydras are in the middle. So he will end up losing that hatchery. Has to cancel, make a run for it. Hydra's going to be pulled back. And this is a good opportunity to strike. Snow could come in here and deal some damage. No, not going to happen. Round of dragoons popping out and Snow will end up taking that next base oh the drone so close managing managing to keep that alive very nicely done we have a spire now i'm gonna pick off that corsair very nice lurkers on the field the scourge here will be very useful in picking off any potential observers if he wants to come up here and try to make like a a push into this area and bring the Scourge to here. You can try to snipe an observer and make it very hard for the defense uh, from Snow. He's got quite a lot of energy on some of these high temps. In fact, two storms apiece. Some lurkers coming out here. We could also go for just a regular play. We've seen this from like a containment play. We've seen this from uh, Jadong. Build a whole bunch of lurkers here. Make a big wall of lurker here. Or, you know, you can you could also make a wall of lurker here. That's also very, very good. Try to block in the uh, Protoss player on four base. A little bit harder to do. But uh, it is easier to navigate the middle mid game. You just have to go directly into late game. If that's how you want to play it. Some pretty good storm dodges, but the storms honestly are getting a lot of value here. More Hydra's coming up. He's actually attacking over this bridge at the same time. A lot of these goons are going to go down for free. Snow losing control here of a lot of his units. He's not bringing all of his goons back. Oh, great storms as he comes across the bridges. Unfortunate here for Hero. He will spread his Lurker and keep pushing, though. One Observer here. Where are the Scourge? Scourge would be magnificent at this point. We don't have them. They're back at home, unfortunately. And everything has been cleaned up. This is looking like a game that I played. <laughs> Unfortunately. Right? Like, these Hydras are not getting anything. They're not getting any value. That is sad. This attack was not too bad, but the Storm just getting way too much value. Hero gonna have that fourth base coming up online here shortly. Eight drones in production, but he does need to produce a lot of Lurker right now. Snow has the muscle to move out on the map. If he decides to cross this bridge right now, I'm afraid for Hero. I think he does need to fall back and just contain on four base. Rather than try to break break up this ramp is so hard to do. Across these bridges, just as difficult. Oh, a bunch of lurkers going to spawn here. Hopefully he sets up very quickly before Snow can move out. There's the Scourge, now ready to snipe some Observers. Man, a few Observer snipes would have changed that last fight immensely. He's actually going to run across the bridge here. I am shocked. We're going across the bridge. No, 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 no. Losing a Lurker for free. Ow. That sucks. That truly is unfortunate. Now, 
We're going to get this fourth gas online. That's going to mean a lot more lurkers. So we do need to saturate that. There we go. And what I was saying before, get this area stacked up with lurker. Very important. This area as well, of course. We need to get a lot of lurker over here. And we're going to allow Snow to take this base. As we move into Hive. Hive is on the way now, guys. So that is going to be the plan here. It's the Jadong play. We're going to go straight up into Hive. Of course, Jadong didn't try to bum rush the natural or the third base uh, in his game that we watched. But we could still make it through into the next stage of this game. We could still make it through to Defiler Tech if we play this out smart. We need to bring up some Lings. We need to bring up some Scourge to try and snipe the Observer. And we also need to continue to rally over here. Make sure that we don't get busted at that at those bridges. We cannot allow the Protoss player to take the middle of the map. That would be disastrous. The Observer is still alive here. And Snow is battling really, really well. He's pushing everything back. Oh my god, the Lurkers getting caught on top of each other. So brutal. So, so brutal. Another big storm there. Dealing a ton of damage. And it looks like Snow is going to be able to break across those bridges, man. It's looking like a Snow victory here. Hero struggling to put together any kind of army to fight against this. But there are so many storms here and just a few Hydras to fight. Oh my god, the storm's just demolishing everything. And GG is called Hero Taps Out. That's a rough game, guys. This is not making me feel any better about this matchup. Good God. You see how Hero was trying to, you know, multitask everywhere. He was hitting over here. The goons weren't even being pulled back at all. Snow just lost all his goons over on that side. But at the same time, Hero was trying to run across these bridges and set up to block this third base and the storms just blanketed everything completely crushed this army and instead of just backing away and resigned to the fact that he's not going to be able to break across these bridges he kept trying to go here he kept trying to go in and actually end this game versus snow which is never what you want to do actually I mean, that's a, an over-exaggeration, but it feels like you can't really end the game versus Protoss when they have Storm across a bridge or up a ramp. It just feels impossible, and you can end up throwing your game. And I feel like that's a little bit of what Hero did in this one. He missed some opportunities. He made a few small errors. And that attack ended up getting shut down. This game is over, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you tomorrow.